Okay, so our question was uh, whether or not it takes the same amount of force uh, to move an object by pushing it, right? And by pulling it. And so the way we're gonna test that out is by using our handy dandy spring scale. Uh, we're gonna push our loads first, see how many Newtons it took, and then we'll pull it. So we're gonna push first. Okay, so here's where our spring scale landed. Um, our force marker is right here, right? So I'm gonna push it back so we can actually see how many Newtons that was. Okay, so we reached the end. Take a look. How many Newtons is that? If you could just give a guesstimate. Hopefully you can see it a little bit better like this. I gotta check it too. Okay, so you should have said it took around two Newtons of force to get our three loads uh, to be pushed and moved. Um, so we're gonna see if pulling it takes the same, less, or more amount of force. And when you are using a spring scale to pull, you use this hook and you kind of hook it around your object and then you pull with this metal end. If you were to ever use a spring scale outside of eighth grade science class, right? I don't know. You might, you never know. All right, <laughs> sorry. All right, let's do this. So I'm gonna pull it. Okay, it moved. Here is where our force marker is for pulling and getting it to move. And again, I'm going to push it back to see how many Newtons of force that took. Okay, so it's at the end. Take a look, how many Newtons of force is that? Sorry, I keep moving it around, but just kind of estimate where you see it falling. 